I have a revenge story. First a little backstory of how I got the idea for it. Come home a little drunk from a friend's house. 1am. Silence. Only thing that emits light is my PC screen. Browsing Pirate Bay looking for movies to torrent. Suddenly I hear a rear drum piercing explosion from my closet. Heart attack point peg. Since nobody is in my apartment, I decide to investigate. Lights on. Approach closet. A rancid smell coming from my closet. Open closet. Yellow liquid literally on everything. A 1.5 liter bottle of apple juice exploded into three pieces. What the fuck? Quickly google it. Apple juice fermented. Gas expanded. Big boom. Interesting. Had to throw away a few white shirts, since the apple juice wouldn't come off. Anyway, to the revenge story. So there is this bitch I used to date. Claimed she was pregnant. Didn't tell her I'm sterile, since I have a defect in some protein that makes sperm tails or something. Not sure how I feel about never having kids to this day. Dumped her, had illegal abortion, and now looks better than she was opposed to what I expected. Invited to party in 3 days. Ex's house. Next day walk to fridge, take out bottle of apple juice. Buy a 6 pack of little apple juice bottles, drink half of each bottle, seal tightly. Put outside in the sun for a day, to speed up fermentation process. On the day of the party, bring a 6 pack of beer, smuggle the 6 pack of half empty apple juice bottles, meet X, have frenemy small talk. Hide bag with apple juice in upstairs bathroom, walk around house thinking where to put bottles, eventually decide, one in her panties drawer, she never reaches for the underwear in the back, one in the toilet deck, wasn't sure it was going to work, one drop behind fridge, one behind washing machine, one under her bed, and the last one, and this is the best f part, in her current BS gamer PC, f him and his red lead case lights. Having fun at party, going home. Every day wake up like a kid on Christmas morning expecting to hear about some kind of applosion. Two days pass. On the third day, hear from a friend that an apple juice bottle left behind the fridge at X's house exploded. Fridge ruined. Have to replace it or fix components. They weren't in the house at the time. Found out when they came home. Had her BF raged at her. Second was the washing machine bottle. Rumors start to spread about the apple juice creeper. Heard they were asleep at the time of the explosion. X freaked out. BF raged from confusion. Managed to save the washing machine. But cleaning the bathroom was a bitch. Third was his PC. The same day after the washing machine bottle. Mutual friend told me he was playing lol for a few hours. While the bottle exploded. Wore headphones so he didn't realize at first what happened. Until his computer crashed. Apple juice fried CPU. Apple juice fried GPU. Apple juice kills shatters case fan. PC is deceased. BF went on a rampage. Smashed X's laptop. Slapped her and left. They broke up on the next day. Three left. Plating lol for a few hours prior to the bottle explosion. X is devastated. Can see all of her emo posts on Facebook. A few days later. Heard that cops came to X's house. Everybody knows about Commander Applejew. Told them all about the apple juice bottles. Showed them her underwear drawer and the exploded bottle. Her best friend tells everyone she passed out and pissed herself when she opened the drawer and the bottle exploded. Federal investigation ensues. I'm going to jail point eggs. Panic. Wait for cops to show up any day now. Since it's her parents house she rarely goes to the second floor. Grandparents passed away, left her the house. She decided to clean upstairs. Apparently decided to take a sh** there for convenience. Nobody sh** there, since the party about a week ago. Pushes button. Plastic top flies right off. X gets sprayed with toilet water and fermented apple juice. You'll be surprised how massive of an explosion a little plastic bottle produce with the right pressure. Go straight to her friend's house, didn't even change. She's hysterical at this point. Refuses to get back to the house. Move to a regular apartment within two weeks from the incident. Mutual male friends help her move. Mutual friend invited me to help. Have nothing to do, so okay. Not suspicious because mutual friends and he invited me. We leave. Almost finished unpacking. Said she'll finish by herself. Wake up with a phone call. X is in hospital. Oh shit what happened? With genuine concern. 
Apparently she was eating and wanted to throw the base since it was her grandmother's and it was ugly. Picked up base. Base exploded into a million pieces. Large shard flew near her and cut her face under the chip. Tiny shards cut her face and arms. She needed 4 stitches on her face. Her face looks like she survived a 6 barrel Gatling attack from point blank range. I'm scared shitless. She didn't want to involve the police again. She took therapy for 6 months. Stayed in apartment, but made her friend stay with her for a month. Friend told me she checks the toilet deck before taking a shit or pissing, even in public places. Looks terrified each time she opens a drawer. Feel kind of bad for it now. Haven't talked to her for 2 years now. Moved to a different state.